Hey guys, uh, Tyler here at North 40 Fly Shop in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, today we're doing the uh, October Case Caddis Nymph and kind of a three-part series. We did the uh, October Caddis Adult and then we're going to do this guy. This is the, the Case Caddis Nymph and then we're also going to do one more, the October Caddis Pupa. So what this guy is here is the nymph stage of the October caddis and they're a rock case caddis. The, the larva will excrete almost like a, a glue out of their body and then roll themselves in rocks, kind of a protective little cocoon and then they live on the uh, on the rocks on the bottom of the stream. You guys will see them a lot in the summertime. They'll, uh, in the shallows, you'll see them clinging to the tops of the rocks and that's what this is here. And the, our fish love them. Um, there'll be times where you'll catch a fish and you may notice their bellies are kind of distended and crunchy feeling. This is what they're eating and they'll actually pick these off the off the tops of the rocks and you may also notice their noses will be a little bit raw um, and they're eating these and they're, they're a great big bug. Um, they'll ingest the, the nymph here and a lot of times the, the pebbles will stay inside their stomach but kind of a neat deal uh, and it's a big fly, a lot of protein for the fish. So anyways, let's get started. We're going to do a, uh, the hook that we're going to use is a uh, 270 size 4 uh, Dairiki here. Uh, pretty good size hook, um, but if you see the, the bugs at the bottom of the river, they are a pretty good size uh, fly. So um, we're going to use uh, black uni 6 aught thread, um, polar chenille in black for the head, new age chenille. Uh, kind of a purple gray color and then also a woolly chenille and then a little bit of uh, brass wire for the ribbing. Um, also uh, some 035 lead for the uh, for the weight around the shank. It's a pretty simple fly, not a whole lot to it but deadly effective. So we'll start by winding our wire And we're going to leave a little area up front here, in, uh, bare in the front, about a third in the front and a third in the rear, roughly. Go ahead and tie in. Just make sure it's secured really well. And if you notice, I've got my thread tied in back here on the on the hook on the bare hook portion. So we're going to tie in our chenille there. Just kind of fill that little void in there. Our woolly chenille next, same spot. Our wire next, and I'm going to tie it in up front here. That wire is kind of slippery, so I like to tie it in pretty good. Make sure it stays in while we're wrapping. All right, bring the thread back forward, and we're going to start with our chenille here first. And then our woolly shield chenille next. You'll notice on some of these bugs too they have some little sticks kind of stuck into the casing as well. That's kind of what this woolly chenille is going to represent. And then our wire we're going to counter rib, so we're going to wrap the opposite way as the other ones and that's going to help hold that fly together. Also gives a little bit of flash in there too. Okay, and then for the head if you guys ever pick one of these up and you'll notice the uh, the actual insect that's inside his head will peek out and their heads are very black and they've got some legs so that's what this portion is going to represent
and just kind of feather that that chenille it's pretty webby just feather it back as you go you can overlap it if you want it's no big deal tie that off clean it up a little bit and tie it off the next we'll gather all of that long chenille up and give it a good trim I like the APA and that's it and we'll add a little glue there we go that's a finished fly very simple kind of a no frills fly but uh, this thing fish fish is great uh, this time of year when those caddis will actually migrate into the shallows um, later in the summer and those uh, those fish know that and this is a great nymphing pattern and next we'll do the October caddis pupa.